What's happened to Dilma in Brazil is being described by many people, including yourself, as a coup. Why? Well, because we're talking about uh, an elected government uh, with, with a clear popular mandate um, and a pretext for uh, her removal from power, and that pretext being allegations of corruption. Um, she's been replaced by a government that uh, uh, is corruption-laden, has lost several of its uh, members because they, in fact, themselves are guilty of what they accused Dilma of. Actually, far more. Far more. Um, and we now have transcripts of conversations uh, where it's clear that they saw her removal as necessary to take the heat of investigation off of themselves. Um, so this is uh, a, a way of using bureaucratic and legal measures to remove a democratically elected government. Uh, it's kind of a bureaucratic coup d'etat, but the ultimate, the results are the same, uh, which is uh, running roughshod over uh, the, the express will of the population. Uh, and it's very, very sad. This is uh, a, um, you know, an enormously populous, uh, a country that has fought hard for democracy, had a very, very long dictatorship, um, and finally brought in a, a government uh, led by a workers' party uh, under Lula uh, that has been reducing inequality uh, in, in a very meaningful way. Not a perfect government. I mean, this is not about whether or not they're perfect. It's about whether the Brazilian people have the right to choose their own government, and clearly they do. That right has been removed, and if it can be removed in Brazil, um, it can be removed in any country.